Hello students, warm welcome to all of you in this small video of 5 golden questions for your All India Institute of Medical Sciences entrance exam 2020. Fine. Now, what is the point of creating this small video uh, with uh, title like 5 golden questions? Golden question means idea is simple, there are various topics in your course. But there are some topics which are really very important topics. You can be sure questions you will definitely get from that topic. So, our aim by means of these small videos is not to say like these questions you are supposed to get in your exams. No, we just want to give you a feel that okay, we should give some more time to these topics. Fine. So, without wasting your single time um, uh, minute, I am just coming on to the discussion. I am starting with reason assertion because there are uh, out of 45, 5 questions like that you will get uh, from this category uh, or whatever the number of questions you are getting, 5 questions or 6 questions depending upon the instruction you will get from the reason assertion uh, segment. My idea is please read these options very carefully in examination hall. Whatever I mentioned over here may be uh, the options given in your exam paper may be different. So, please read very carefully these instructions then come on for the question. Assertion is in free expansion of an ideal gas the entropy increases. Just by this first statement you can say the question is from your thermodynamics branch and thermodynamics is one of your important branch around 7 to 8 questions you are supposed to get. These are simple questions, good scoring questions. So, that is why I am starting with this. In free expansion of an ideal gas entropy increases, free expansion means disorder is increasing in simple terms and entropy is what? Entropy is the measurement of uh, uh, you can say disorder, fine. So, free expansion entropy increases means assertion is a correct statement. Reason, entropy increases in all natural processes. In your test books, it is very clearly mentioned that entropy reduction is not a natural process, fine. So, both are correct and more beautiful aspect is it is also explaining the cause, fine. So, take care of this instruction both assertion and reasons are true and the reason is a correct explanation of assertion. So, in our opinion the correct choice for this is A or 1, whatever you want to say, fine. <coughs> and for reason assertion questions, please go through the topic properly, think properly deep uh, you can say uh, uh, understanding of the concept is required. Then one question I picked from your uh, first chapter of class 11th that is dimensional analysis, errors, uh, vectors, uh, you can say significant numbers that chapter is also very important. This chapter has, the, uh, has there are se several you can say subtopics. So, one I used over here in the form of G, H and C, where G is universal gravitational constant, H is Planck constant, C is speed of light. I mean, I was about to write down like where symbols have their usual meaning. The time period is proportional to, means you are supposed to find the dimensional formula of time period in terms of G, H and C. So, there are various methods with the help of which you can uh, solve this problem, but I am telling you a simple approach. Well, <coughs> there are two parts, left hand side part is equal to right hand side part of the situation. Time period T is equal to G A H B C C like that I can write down fine. So, over here I can say left hand side M 0 L 0 T to the power 1. Now, what about right hand side part? My suggestion is 
try to recall certain basic dimensional formula that will save lot of time. Otherwise, you have to find the dimensional formula of G, H and C in examination hall. Uh, definitely that, that will take some time, consume some time, choice is yours, fine. So, let me write down directly. Now, dimensional formula of G in terms of M L T, fine. So, F is equal to minus G M 1 M 2 upon R square. So, from here I can write it as minus 1 minus 2 power a, fine, directly from there I can write it down. Then Planck constant E is equal to SC upon lambda. So, from here H is equal to ML square T minus 1 whole to the power B, fine. Then C is equal to M 0 L 1 T minus 1 C. Fine. Now, you can solve it from left hand and right hand part. So, here I can say after solving that point, I am not explaining because this is a simple uh, you can say calculation. After solving, how you can solve? Equate the number. So, m to the power minus a plus b plus 0 that is minus a and b fine. So, from here this way you can arrange m, l and t values. So, I think I should write at this place a is 1 by 2, b is 1 by 2 and c is 1 by 2 and accordingly you can find a is the correct option. So, this is a method no doubt this question definitely uh, you will find slightly time taking, but problem is this is a simple question. Surety is 100 percent that you will, if you, if you will devote some time you will get the correct answer. So, my suggestion is please do not skip from this type of questions in examination hall. Say uh, for example, there uh, definitely there will be some questions in your question paper, uh, those are difficult one. After uh, you can say expending good amount of time, it may possibly you will not get the answer. So, better focus first on these type of questions. Then comes question number 3, a simple question from current electricity topic of class 12th. A current of 2 milli ampere was passed through an unknown resistor which dissipated a power of 4.4 watt. Now, from first line, forget about any, any other thing, from first line, is it possible for you to find the value of resistance? you can say yes, sure we can find out. Why? Because P is equal to I square R, ok. So, P is equal to I square R, that will give me the resistance. Come for the next. Dissipated power when an ideal power supply of 11 voltage connected across the same resistor. So, ultimately first you have to find the value of the resistance and then you can use that value. So, I think the best approach to find the value of R is P 4.4 upon I square 4 into 10 to the power minus 6. So, from here this is the value of R you will get. Now, next time uh, you have the formula P is equal to V i and V is equal to I r. So, again P is equal to I square r. So, now you can find the value when V is equal to uh, this much and resistance is this much. So, very easily you can find the current and directly using again this formula P is equal to V square upon R. It is your choice either use this result or calculate the current and then use the same result. Whichever you find simple it is your choice. Now, here I can directly put the values 11 into 11 upon 4.4 into 4 into 10 to the power minus 6. When you solve it, you will get it as 11 into 10 to the power minus 5 watt. That is, uh, this option is B is the correct option, fine. So, I am moving out, just take a look of this please. This relation 
this relation. You can use this relation twice or you can use this way. It is your choice. <coughs> Idea is simple. That is, you should try to save your time by a tactful move. Question number 4 that is from semiconductors. Consider this circuit and some instructions are mentioned. Forward resistance of each diode is 50 ohm. You know, uh, PN diode never allows flow of current in reverse direction. You have to find the current through this 100 ohm resistor when the battery is 6 volt. Now, consider one aspect. This D2 is in a reverse bias. So, this is meaningless. Even this entire arm is meaningless. Fine, forget this. So, now what exactly I can visualize over here? Please, please just take a look. 50 ohm of diode D1, it is in reverse bias, 150 and 100. So, net resistance. <laughs> net resistance R n is equal to 50 plus 150 all in series plus 100 that is 300 ohm. You have to find the current through this. So, V is equal to I R I is equal to 6 upon 300 that will give me so, which one is the correct answer? This B is the correct answer. Fine. Please take a look of this explanation. Please consider this situation on the basis of the diagram. See, for example, this is again in reverse uh, forward bias. You have to consider it accordingly. Fine. So, be careful with these type of questions. They are simple, but definitely they, they definitely test your understanding. After that, we are coming on a very simple question that I picked from your uh, electromagnetic wave chapter or you can say this is a simple question from modern physics that is the mean intensity of radiation on the surface of the sun is about 10 to the power 8 watt per meter square. The RMS value of corresponding magnetic field is actually there are 3 4 formula in this chapter and the question is only based upon those formulae. One formula is E R M S upon B R M S is equal to C. Fine. And from here, one more relation that is I is equal to epsilon naught C E R M S square. Fine. So, from here, you can replace this value E R M S. How? you can say it is C into B R M S whole square. Fine. So, equation number 1, equation number 2. Replace the values and solve it. So, you will get B R M S is equal to intensity I upon epsilon naught C cube. Fine. Put the value of I 10 to the power 8, epsilon naught 8 0.85 10 to the power minus 12, but better use it 9. And C cube 3 into 10 to the power 8 cube. Once you solve it, you will get it as nearly 10 to the power minus 4 Tesla. So, 10 to the power minus 4 Tesla, C is your correct option. I am just moving out. I request please take a look of this formula. And uh, if you just do some practice, you will not able to forget this result. So, I think we should stop over here. Take care of yourself. Keep revising. Best of luck from our side.